We'll start about 35 seconds from now. Great. Perfect. And if you have a question, please just put it in the little chat box there. That way we're not talking over everyone. We'll have a little about 30 minutes at the end for Q&A. Uh, we do have a hard stop at noon because I know everybody, particularly on the East Coast, wants to have lunch. Um, but we will get make sure this webinar does not go in past noon. And um, there, But there will be ample time for questions. And there's also <coughs> contact information to the ACE committee and for those that are working on this project if you have any questions as well. Right. With that, I think we should start to stay on time. I know others may jump on, um, but we'll make this, we'll email out this, this PowerPoint to everybody who uh, registered in advance to make sure everybody has that PowerPoint. And if you have any questions, there's contact information there. So on behalf of the Organization of American States, the Department of Commerce, and the Department of State, welcome to a relatively new program that our agencies have been working on, it's only a few years old, but it's to the point that we want to open up wide to the entire country to make sure everybody has a chance to compete um, and, and uh, engage for new foreign direct investment, new export opportunities, as well as new research possibilities on the America's Competitive Exchange and Innovation Entrepreneurship. This is your opportunity to apply to host this exchange um, across, across the way. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to our special guest today, Dr. Maurice Robert, who is the Director of Economic Development from the Organization of American States. Um, for, a small, for an introduction. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Barrett, and uh, good morning, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be to be here with you. As uh, Barrett mentioned, I'm I'm with the Organization of American States, the OAS. The OAS is the what we call the Technical Secretariat of the Inter-American Competitiveness Network, the RIAC, R I A C which brings together all the competitiveness councils and authorities of the hemisphere. And thanks to the leadership of the U.S. government, in particular uh, the U.S. Department of Commerce, EDA, ITA, and the Department of State, in uh, conjunction with the OAS, the ACE was born, and, and Barrett will speak to this in a few minutes, a few years ago. <clears throat> and why is it that the OAS, we are, um, involved in in, um, in this uh, initiative, the America's Competitiveness Exchange. Maybe just a couple of seconds on what the OAS is. The OAS is the world's oldest regional organization. It brings together all the sovereign states, the independent states of the Americas. It, it's uh, headquartered here in Washington, D.C., and it has uh, also 69 observer states plus the uh, European Union. Essentially, it has four pillars, human rights, democracy, uh, development, and security. So in development, uh, the ACE really is about development. And the ACE is essentially what we, what we do at the OAS, which is to share good practices, to connect uh, talent networks, in order to generate opportunities to expand the links between our, um, our economies and also to strengthen the, the ties uh, or ties globally, hemispherically, by building on ideas that actually work to create jobs for our citizens. So Barrett, I think with this, uh, let me um, end by saying and thanking um, Again, the U.S. Uh, uh, government, and particularly you, uh, your colleagues here at EDA and ITA. I see our friend Sean, who's sitting next to Barrett, and our, our colleagues at the U.S. Department of State, in particular the U.S. Permanent Mission to the OAS, for their leadership uh, in this initiative since uh, 2014. Without that, without their leadership, tremendous leadership, this initiative would not have been as successful at it as it has been uh, for the past uh, almost five years now, four years. Well, thank you, thank you, Maurice. The question becomes for economic development was trade investment. 
can we open up our communities to senior leadership from around the world? And what would happen if we brought 50 of those senior leaders to drive economy? You have economic assets on the ground, they have economic assets in their countries. Can we use those as penetration points for trade, investment, and other uh, policies and programs to create new technologies and new possibilities? That is what the America's Competitive Exchange and Innovation Entrepreneurship is. We bring 50 leaders. We use the government's connections, the Organization of American States' connections, to ask you to open up your sites and facilities to make the deal, to move the economic needle. It is designed to build cooperation networks in the Americas and beyond to make all of our lives a better place and provide opportunities using our innovation and investment ecosystem. So the partners was really, the ACE was created in 2014 by the U.S. Department of Commerce and the Organization of American States and the Department of State, and they make up the permanent committee. The permanent committee is ones that you want to be very familiar with, the EDA, ITA, the State Department, and the OAS, and the, there's one more that rotates through that uh, every two years a country becomes the fifth member of that committee, currently it's Argentina. And the information on the committee, as well as the ACE program, is on the website listed, uh, riotevents.ace. So to date, they've had nine ACEs held. There's generally two ACEs per year. It's prototyped and started in the EDA Atlanta Regional Office with help of the ITA and state and the OES. We, we looked at sites like Venture Lab, um, Clemson University, uh, EPIC, at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, and then Mexico reciprocated um, on ACE-2, showing off Ascalientes, Guadalajara, and others. ACE-3 is Minnesota through Illinois, and hitting Wisconsin, Cordova, Argentina, ACE-4, Arizona and California, Tucson, uh, Phoenix, Yuma, uh, the Trail Valley, and San Diego was five, Southern Ontario, the greater Toronto region, um, and, which, McMaster University, University of Toronto, Niagara, and other areas in the greater Southern Ontario region, Central Texas, Austin, San Antonio, uh, New Braunfels, San Marcos, and others, North Central Florida from Orlando through Tallahassee, and then we have a sub-brand under the ACE umbrella called a technical visit. Uh, Mexico in Baja, uh, California and Mexico hosted one in March 2018. So if you're a, a more rural part of America, or if you may not feel fit hosting a full ACE, you have the opportunity to compete and have a smaller, shorter version of an ACE brand, which we call technical visits. A uh, special edition just occurred in Germany, Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu was there, the Director General of Germany, the State Secretary of the Germany were all there as well. And ACE 10 will be held in Central California in October this year. So participants are the senior leadership of these countries the ones that have economic assets that can link up with yours, vice ministers of country, ministers of commerce, ministers of country, uh, the European parliament. Right now we have four permanent sec uh, two permanent secretaries from the United Kingdom that will be coming on ACE 10 in California. We focus on the hemisphere. 80% uh, or 80 to 90% of the participants must come from the OES member states, and OES permanent observers make up the other 10, uh, 10 to 15%. Um, presidents of major universities are a good example, mayors of major cities. We actually had the youngest venture capitalist um, who runs the Cario Society in South America. He's got a billion dollar venture capital fund. He's not even 30 yet, but he's got a billion dollar venture capital fund. We bring these folks to your, your region. And I'll turn it over to my good friend Sean Ricks from the International Trade Administration to talk about just some of the who <coughs> that have come and some of the impact they've had. Well, um, you know, you're watching the presentation so you can see some of the specific individuals that we've been able to attract to the program and uh, we're very proud of that as the program has evolved since its inception we continue to be able to elevate the, the level of participation and why that is so important is because we don't want this to be a one-off program it's not just about coming to take a tour and visit sites what we want to do is inspire the participants to be able to go back and actually make changes in policy um, and in their approach and to adopt, even if it's a portion of some of the best practices that they see, as well as to establish the economic and commercial ties and connections that help to drive growth and sustainable economic development. And so 
Uh, you're, you're seeing a list here from, you know, a, a, a senior director uh, for the Innovation Science and Economic Development uh, Agency within Canada. But you also, uh, in addition to that, will see CEOs and, and local officials. Uh, and we have a blend of all of those officials in one place. So we really try to make sure that it's not a, a silo impact, but it actually cuts across all sectors uh, because all of those individuals um, are a part of driving local economic development and creating jobs in their community. Uh, so um, I think that would be just the one key point that I would make is that um, we encourage your participation uh, as a host because it's an opportunity for you to be able to strengthen the relationships at the international level and also for you uh, to become a leader on the global stage uh, here within the United States by attracting foreign direct investment to your communities, but also to, to support your uh, U.S. companies who are, are looking to further their ties uh, and to trade uh, international trade and exports um, as well as um, investment in other countries. Well, thank you, Sean. And as you can see in front of you, we just put a few sites on ACE 8 Florida. So we use those participants and your economic anchors to stimulate these connectivity and penetration points. We look for the wow and the now factor. Uh, some communities may have the wow factor, Kennedy Space Center, NASA on Space Coast and ACE 8. But also, you may look for very, very small penetration points. It could be a very, very specific lab or university that you're developing that needs the extra oomph or that extra you know, product line or that extra research partnership from a, a global university to create those partnerships. So I've got a, we have a couple examples from ACE 8 Florida that just occurred in December of last year. NASA, we opened up Kennedy Space Center. Uh, ACE is now leading, leading to new testing agreements with other countries. No, uh, I love Florida but Florida is not great for testing Mars research equipment. Uh, you need the, the rocks in the craters of Chile and Peru and the harsh temperatures of, of other countries to do that. Uh, Port Canaveral is one of the largest cruise ship ports. Some of the countries are looking at partnering with the cruise lines that are there to open up their islands. Florida Institute of Technology offered admission spots to the top 10 students from every ACE country that participated. So FIT now gets the best, the best in those areas. So we look for your facilities and we, on our local reps, EDA reps, ITA reps will help find those facilities to create those penetration points. So just some of the benefits, it opens dialogue for trade and encourages new global supply chain for interconnectivity. It exposes to stimulate investments for international audiences. So for, you may have a lab that needs to have open up a site, a very specific piece. It creates this new exposure for those facilities. It looks to coordinate economic development strategies. And the coordinate economic development strategy is if you want to trade with Mexico or Canada right now and you have specific clusters, you can Google the Canadian cluster map. And the Canadian cluster map and the Mexican cluster map are tied into our economic development strategies. Um, it's the same language. Um, for host sites, you can actually opportunity to showcase the local businesses, your NGOs, your institutions of higher education to create international audience. So, great. Just some of the results. Uh, some of the quick results that you can, um, some of the results. When we went through ACE-1 on, in Conover, Mexico, they had a manufacturing solutions testing center for textiles. The group went through there, the textile group was just fine. Um, and uh, the, uh, they visited it and it brought this facility up to the higher level. The local politicians are starting to realize that that facility had some serious added value to inter, inter, uh, inter, entrepreneurs and innovative people globally. They partnered with the state of Hidalgo, Mexico to provide assistance on what equipment that Hidalgo, Mexico's textile incubator should have as well. And over time, this research partnership formed and now they had a brand new thread line that debuted in the Milan Fashion Show. In Organic Valley, as Madison, Wisconsin partnered, uh, partnered with Argentina to solve a cattle issue that now led to new uh, exports and, tra and trade and agriculture with Argentina. The Belize Entrepreneurship Institute and Innovation Institute was actually built using EDA's model. 
Uh, Canada is now a new partnership with Mexico. Haiti just created their first full-time incubator called Alpha Haiti, modeled exactly the way Money for Incubators are modeled in your communities using EDA's methods and methodology. These create these partnerships for trade and investment globally. Just some of the quotes. Uh, um, so some of the quotes you can see, uh, we bring the highest level of individuals there as well from internally, the executive secretary from organization of state, deputy assistant secretary, assistant secretaries from EDA, ITA, senior leadership from state department. Um, so we've got Kim Osborne's been out before. It's an amazing opportunity to engage. Deputy assistant secretary Dennis Albert of EDA, the networks established will build long-term economic impact. Venture Capital Director of Mexico, best program that she knows of. And the fact that she's the Director General of Venture Capital for the entire network of Mexico, that she recognizes that this as the best program is a huge, huge um, endorsement of the brand. Others, uh, ITA is saying it's one of the best, the OES is saying the best, and of course, Puerto Rico. I mean, this is, I'm going to say, this is one of the, this is probably the best program that I've seen out there for engagement globally. So, of course, by now you're thinking, how can I be part of this awesome program? How can I be a host? It is a relatively simple process to start. It's a more difficult process to finish because we're asking you to pull off and host <coughs> senior leadership from up to 50 countries all at once. In a charter bus, we bring them up. We have government security vehicles. We roll them up. We, have, we roll them up, and then you open your doors and say, we say go. It must be overseen by gatekeepers, those that can bring the right level or equivalent levels to the host sites. EDOs, EDDs, major universities, mayors, state secretaries, governors, uh, state agencies. So in Arizona, it was the Arizona Commerce Authority, which is statewide. In Florida, it was five counties that came together. So you must demonstrate market fit. Why is your community ready to host this senior leadership? Regional collaboration of public and private partnerships. It just can't be only universities. It's got to be a mixture of companies, incubators, labs, those penetration points. Urban and rural. We want, it is a requirement that ACE must go through a rural community because rural communities have very strong economic assets that can lead to real strong development. In fact, some of our best highlighted um, wins of ACE came in rural communities. Financial support. Demonstrated financial support, an international airport, and an OAS member state, which the United States, majority of you on the, on the, on the PowerPoint today are from the United States. The U.S. is a member state, so your region is covered under that, and planning and staff and execution. So let's dig deep. First is a special consideration. Just like EDA regular programs, and many of you are familiar with EDA's network, the, the, the bid of hosting an ACE in the U.S. must be coordinated by the U.S. government because we'll be submitting your regional bid on behalf of the U.S. government. Um, outside of the Americas must be uh, coordinated under the ACE committee with the advice of the Organization of American States. We, would adv we advise you on how to make your bid great. So that way we're only seeing great bids because great bids in equal great bid, uh, host sites and great opportunities. Um, so budget, the EDA funds the federal budget with the federal partnership with the Department of State and the International Trade Administration. This is the buy-in that goes to the Organization of American States. There is additional cost at the local level. Um, so we pay the EDA, ITA, and State Department pay between a, uh, right around, right around 100,000 per ACE. This supports website planning, staff support from OES, um, flights for ministers coming in there if they need the, the cost, uh, to supplement their, their flights and costs. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll get to the questions here. We have a question from Singapore. Um, Singapore is not as, if they're an OES member observer state, then they can coordinate with our embassies to be invited to participate. So additional costs are at the local level. So we buy that in federally and the local costs, just some of the local costs. Um, and we made this program very, very reasonable. And this is my some of the local costs. Is this we invite your friends to your house? 
say, come on over for my meal. It's a very important thing to come in. It just makes us feel better. I mean, so we advise on the meals. So meals for participants, we're not talking about every meal, but it's just, we generally stay at hotels that have breakfast there. But if you have a, a lunch, let's make it a working lunch with your senior leadership of your community. And we're looking at lunch costs for about 66 people per uh, three. Yes. Um, I, I see a hand raised, Mike. Uh, if you can put your question in the, in the chat, that'd be great. Um, and that way you can see, see what your question is. Uh, marketing, local marketing, local branding, event space. We advise you as part of the process what event space to get. Um, for instance, we had a community that wanted to do a capstone event at a super luxury private resort. As much as I love private luxury resorts, it, there's better space out there. So we're actually them doing it at a UNESCO World Heritage Site that, that is a national park. Um, because there's optics involved, there's items involved that are very important. Um, uh, yes, it is. if you've hosted in a region, it is possible to host it again. Uh, different sectors, yes, that is correct. You can host it again. Um, it is a competitive process to host. Local security is another local cost. Uh, we provide federal security. Uh, we work with our strategic partnerships and various mechanisms. I won't go into those, but we look at that, the best way to secure that group. Local security, um, it is on you. Um, there's a comfortableness level. You're hosting 50 of these senior gatekeepers. Most universities will have one or two armed security guards or something for crowd control, uh, those things. Regional coordination and logistics. So. So there's just some of the local costs. And most communities spend about 10 to 15,000, so it's not a lot of money. So here's the process to plot. It is actually set up very similarly to EDA's process that we're not gonna ask you for a full proposal until you even know that you're in the ballpark. The first step is called a letter of intent. The letter of intent is who are your partners, what do you wanna do, uh, what are you thinking? And then they'll go to committee. At the OES will convene the committee, and saying, okay, yes, they seem to have the right levels to pull this off. They seem to have the right budget to pull this off. Let's invite them to fully apply on a full proposal. The next one, after full proposal, you have to compete. You're competing globally. You're competing against other countries for an ACE spot. The U.S. generally gets one ACE per year. That's kind of an automatic, we get one. The other one rotates. Some years the U.S. will host two. Sometimes we'll do two, eight, four and aces per year, and then the U.S. will come back with two the next year. So generally every other ace the U.S. is hosting, or sometimes we host twice, but you are competing against Argentina, Canada, Mexico, Germany, Israel, around the world host this ace event. Selection announcement, and the finalized agenda and itinerary. So once you put your agenda on your full proposal, you will really see it again, because. Just like anything, weddings or anything, they must be adjusted towards the end. So letter of intent. This is all we're asking from your communities, even start the process. Two to five pages, partners, region, possible dates. You're asking for our help. And we can consider those up to three years in advance. ACE, like the Olympics, is planned many, many years in advance. We will not accept a letter of intent within nine months of an ACE. There's not enough time to pull it off. So we look at these, we are looking for bids for 29, late fall 2019, 2020, 2021, currently. We have pride ourselves on speed. The age coordinating committee wants to move this very, very quickly. So once we get the letter of intent, we'll review it within 30 days and say, yes, you meet the proposal criteria. No, you don't. And here's some guidance of how to enhance it if you still want to compete. Um, we'll provide guidance on how to strengthen it. For those that are meet the objectives, we'll say, congratulations, you've made phase one. Here's, you, you'll be assigned people to work with. It's generally EDA and ITA employees, if you're from the US. If you're from a foreign country, it's generally through your permit mission and the organization American States, where this committee members will guide you to submit a full application to be, to be competitive. The full proposal must be turned in nine months ahead at a minimum, at least nine months ahead. We like seeing full proposals about a year to a year and a half in advance. It must have a draft agenda. And it just can't be you putting together a draft agenda. If you put in your agenda that you've got Amazon headquarters on your agenda, 
we're going to want it, we're going to take your word that you will have Amazon headquarters. It is just not your community putting down random things. It is if you put down that we, we the committee will say, okay, they are promising us these specific sites to make economic impact. And that's what we're going to be grading this off. What are the sites? What are the key anchors? Who are the speakers you're promising? You have to demonstrate your market fit. Do you have a fit with the, the OES member countries, trade, exports, research? If you don't, demonstrate how you will use this to increase that fit. Economic background, SWOT analysis, just like your SEDS plans. There are a lot of these components are in your SEDS. There should be in your SEDS. So it's literally saying these are our strong sectors. These are our weak sectors. Here's our strategic plan. So it's from your SEDS guidelines and SEDS documents. For those that are from foreign countries on this call today, you must have a SEDS equivalent type of analysis in that, and the full instructions have the guidelines in there. You must have prior engagement with OES member countries. So have you participated in a for, former ACE? Have you been an America's Competitiveness Forum participant? Have you been to a GTEC before? Airport, uh, so in, if you're hosting domestically on California's ACE, the US only will have three to four spots for US participants. Foreign ACEs, we have 10 to 11. Uh, so Javier has a question, if a country Latin America is interested to host an ACE, it must be sent through your permanent mission and the OES can coordinate your permanent mission and how to send it through your permanent mission, uh, through your embassies and the permanent mission of the OES. Great question. In the US, just like the US government submitting, uh, you will work with the OES and the OES will work with your, per your permanent mission to submit it through diplomatic channels. This is a diplomatic event, uh, which is, so just a couple other things, airport information, kiosks, who are your key partners and their responsibilities. The key question there, and if you want to point out, is ACE participation. If you're thinking about hosting an ACE, there's foreign ACE possibilities. The American Dependents Forum in Argentina in 2019 coming up. There's ACE California. After that, we've got a pretty good idea who's going to be hosting ACE 11 um, and other events that you need to engage in. Doesn't mean you can't do your application, but the applicants. We may say, hey, great application, great agenda. You must go on ACE 15 before we award you ACE 16, something along those lines. Um, I'm trying to ask a few questions ago. Yes, a host community, it is a requirement. A host community must participate in a prior ACE. It doesn't mean you can't submit your application now. We may say, send your senior leadership from that group, send a technical advisor so we can give them behind the scenes access of how it's run. That was a requirement. So Germany, Israel went on three, two of them. Canada went on two. Uh, um, California went on A7 and 8. But the U.S. government will help coordinate that with the right folks and who to send and when to send and some guidance in those, days, in those areas. The America's Competitiveness Forum is another opportunity that you know that's 3,000 people, two to 3,000 people. It's hosted every two years. They'll be hosted in 2019 Argentina. That's a great example. But we can start the process now with your letter of intent. Full proposal agenda, submission letter, gatekeeper, letters of support, and a statement of availability of funds. Average statement of availability of funds is between 100 and 250,000 locally, uh, just depending on how it's broken up. So, and I apologize, I'm trying to get a, a small drink here. Uh, selection announces the next phase, full submitted. We will send it through official diplomatic channels. So. Generally, for U.S., you'll be working with EDA and ITA and State Department, but EDA would be submitting it with the help of ITA and State. Within 60 days, the committee will convene and we will and analyze your condition, your uh, proposal. We'll send it back through diplomatic channels, your guidance, or, or through EDA or State or U.S. government entity. That we're going to do one of three things: accept the conditions. Uh, we can say, great, you've got everything here, but we don't think it's up to a full ACE, but we think you can host an ACE technical visit. Would you like to host an ACE technical visit? Accepting in a different year or a different date. So Florida proposed for this spring of this current year, 18, we asked could they host in fall of 17. Uh, accepting with other conditions, adding another community or two, or saying you're going through this community, but you're missing the biggest national lab in your community. Why isn't the national lab on there? Those items that we can do. Um, 
so the question from Sarah is, it's about 10,000 per local community. So ACEs are multiple communities, multiple regions coming together. So Orlando, Florida spent about 10,000, but the overall ACE eight, if you add Orlando, Space Coast, Gainesville, Tallahassee, the total cost is about 150 for all the communities. So if you look at your community hosting for one day, it may be we've got uh, 10,000 for our community, but when you put in the entire region together, it may come up to 100 to 150,000 people because it's urban rural communities. All these different sites over a week period of time is what we've got that group there for. So hopefully that helped you out. Confirmed, the events are confirmed via letter saying if you, if you get an ACE, the Executive Secretary of OES says congratulations, you've been selected just like the Olympics. Just like the Olympics, you're designing a logo, you're, um, you can do all these other cool things, your website, travel time protocol, uh, theme, sectors, and that process starts about eight months out just like the Olympics do. So I do want to point out one thing I skipped on this power slide, that, and I'll highlight this. During, uh, <laughs> during deliberations, we have the right to come back for more information or to ask you to refine a paragraph within that two month period. So we're, you're missing, can you give us more clarity what speakers are gonna be speaking at your university? Uh, what is the mayor's confirmed to these communities? Those types of things where we can ask for that information on. Once you're selected, like I said, you like the Olympics, you get all these cool things. Um, presenter schedules, refinement even further, and that becomes six, eight months in advance. In fact, California calls are going on right now with California. Uh, their logo came out a couple months ago. In fact, when you come on the ACE 10 website for ACE California tomorrow morning, you'll see the brand new video going out, and it's a phenomenal, awesome video. And I'll see if, if it works, if we can play it for everybody here on this webinar, since we seem to be a little ahead of schedule. Context. When requesting ACE process advice, please write to all these folks. It's a lot of folks, but we do this to dub, uh, double up to make sure all the agencies are involved and, that'll, and to make sure that the right players are involved. Um, Maurice Robert, you've heard her this, uh, this a few minutes ago, the Director of Development for the Hemisphere, oh yes, she's a part of the Chief of Innovation. Uh, Sean Ricks, the Senior Advisor for Trade for Western Hemisphere, Dr. Voice, the uh, Argentina desk officer, Sally Whaley, who does local planning for EDA, that really know the nuances of how to pull these, these timing runs off. That helps provide that different that advice from all of them. And the application is right in front of you uh, on that website. Um, right, uh, assets, ACE application. Um, and that's all we have in terms of a webinar. And what I can do is, let me pull the application up here really quickly and to show you how it looks. So it's a very simple application process, but it's got a lot of detail. The devils are in the detail. Um, there's your objectives, minimum requirements, once again, process, letter of intent. We go in a little bit more in depth of what it should be there. Um, we give you some guidance in terms of agendas. Um, the participants, deputy ministers, how they, how we actually score these folks out to come. Um, and of course, your, your application information. Those are on the, the line from the outside. For your cluster maps, you must use the US or Euro, European definition of clusters. SWOT analysis, you must be using the, the similar to the US model for said, or a general model that are equivalent. For your meal, we look for, they must be at the US uh, per diem rate for meals. Same thing with hotels. It's a US government sponsored event, must be US government rates for meals and hotels and all that information is there as well. So with that, do we have any questions, thoughts, comments? If you have a question, please sharpen the chat box so we can, so everybody can see your question and, and we be able to, Thomas, if you can type your question in a little chat, the chat thing right there that we can make sure that everybody interprets your question correctly and uh, we can answer it. Um,
So the question is, do we stream any of the events live? The, every event generally is open press. Um, the, within 24 hours of those events, the videography team of the Organization of American States will post the event of what that day looks like on the OAS channels. That is that way so foreign press and others can see what they did that day. Um, current applicants, uh, we don't have current applicants. Uh, that is, this is how the OES, but we do have bids from all over the world right now. You can have private event sponsors for local events, yes. Um, so, um, a few questions came at once. You're at local events, for local events, you're able to have local sponsorships. So if you have a private event at a, at a university, you can have university sponsorship, you can have uh, chamber of commerce sponsorship, you can have business sponsorships. We advise you as part of that agenda making process once how to pull that together. Uh, the PowerPoint, we'll be emailing that PowerPoint in the next day or two to everybody who registered for this webinar. Uh, the recording of this presentation will be available, the slides will be available for download, we'll be emailing those slides out. Adriana, um, Letter of intent for 19 fall, be nine months at a minimum, three years out as a maximum. So this is not an EDA grant to your local community. This is an EDA grant to the Organization of American States to the Pan American Development Foundation to fund the federal share, that the local cost is local. The federal costs are federal. Local costs, as we mentioned, are Event space, if you have an event space at the Florida State University, you, that is a local cost. The event, we will be responsible for pulling up a bus of 50 ministers and deputy ministers and senior officials, four US vehicles, so the number we use is 66. We roll them up in that bus and then we turn the keys over to you. All that, once you turn those keys over to you, that is your cost. So, attendee of an ACE, Jane, as you apply, so on the REAC website right now, I apologize, I'm going to go through this real quickly. The ACE, so look, here are all the prior ACE exchanges on that ACE website. We've got ACE 10, the application to apply is right there to apply now. The event is one week long. Five days, Monday through Friday. Uh, we bring them in on a Saturday or a Sunday. Generally, Sunday is a tourism day, looking at local events. Um, and uh, and uh, we engage in these local sites and that agenda. So let me pull up a prior ACE agenda. So all the ACE agendas, uh, you're able to reach out to previous hosts. Yes, you can actually go to the prior ACE exchanges. So here's ACE 5, just an example. The, all the agendas of prior ACEs are online. So if there is Sunday, there is Monday through Tuesday, all, all the agendas are there. And if you look on each former ACE event, there's actually a trip book. The trip book has all your content information for prior ACE hosts and, and, uh, and impacts. How do we measure results? If you participate in ACE, one of the requirements is you must participate in the surveys that the OAS has. What are the jobs created? What is the PI measured? What are the real research partnerships? Um, we nearly out of A7 and 8, we are tracking nearly 700 possible penetration points. Now these penetration points can be from changing the development process in a country to new jobs and FDI back in the US or new export potential foreign. Um, so we do track that. Um, it, the OES also tracks that as part of their grant. They track that for nine years on a the GIFR Government Results Performance Act uh, requirements. So we'll be tracking those uh, on the most current grant to eat, uh, the OES uh, once once they finish up some of the paperwork on that. Um, the 2019 location is still under consideration. Uh, we have a pretty good idea, Thomas, of where it's going to be for spring. Um, I fall is wide open at this point, so that we're starting to look for fall of 19, 20, spring of 2020. Fall of 2020, spring of 2021, fall of 2021. That's how far out we're looking right now, which is why we did this webinar for everybody. So, 
Uh, is there any any other questions? So here's just some idea, ACE 5 logistics. Participants, once again, you know, permit secretary of Barbados. You know, Candace sent one, two, three, three associate deputy ministers and others. So it just gives you an idea, you know, here's another permit secretary. Uh, Columbia sent uh, general, general manager, director general, General manager is kind of our deputy assistant secretary level. It's kind of a, for most of these groups, that if it's government wide, it's kind of their deputy assistant secretary level equivalent. Another minister of commerce and others. So 50 of those folks. Now here's the outside the hemisphere, the minister of entrepreneurship from Estonia, deputy minister of the president from Cyprus, vice minister of Kazakhstan. So this is a very, these are as US government is, is asking for these spots on these events. <laughs> Any other questions or comments? So I'm going to try to do something here and to see if it works. Um, it'll probably freeze, but I'm just going to see if I can show the Texas video. Oh, so there's a, let me do this. We have videos of prior ACE events, those days. So you can see how those days are set up. That question of this, video it's done that when you saw on the ACE event there's that YouTube link they actually have their own YouTube channel and here's the third day of Tel Aviv third day of ACE 9 in Israel starting early morning in Tel Aviv uh, and ending in Berlin it's a long day first stop is in Yavne. Yavne is an ancient city mentioned in the Bible, which became a very important uh, Jewish center after the destruction of Jerusalem and the temple in year 7. We visited aeronautics. Aeronautics started in one of the incubators and today it's a known uh, company with the global footprint focusing on unmanned solutions, system and subsystems in the aeronautics domain. Can somebody let me know if this is coming through okay? And then off we go to the Volcani Agricultural Center of Excellence. This is one awesome. of the Thank most you. important research centers in Israel dedicated to different domains of agriculture, including fishery, irrigation, and many other... So these sites are not death by PowerPoint, they're interactive, interconnected, to really drive things. Hey, I've got a lab in my area, let me connect with your lab in this area, and let's create a new patent line together. I've got assets, you've got assets, let's shake those hands of friendship and opportunity. say thank you and goodbye to the host. From the innovation authority. And there's Maurice right there. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody has an idea of that third day in Israel and Tel Aviv, and then they flew to Berlin, um, where they did Berlin. So what I'd like to do is see if I can try this and get, get a little taste of what California has put together. It takes about three minutes, and then we'll take the last few questions at the end. But hopefully this comes together well. I'm going to let it buffer for a little bit. Because this is a California ACE, you must apply. It is extremely competitive to attend uh, an ACE event on your community. Um, so, particularly since the we only have three to five spots on that bus from U.S. community, so we're going to be looking at communities that are ready to host an ACE, have that agenda ready to say, "Come to California, come," so you're able to really enhance your bid or enhance your opportunity on your site. So hopefully this works. What makes California the fifth largest economy in the world? An inclusive powerhouse of innovation and entrepreneurship. Is it one company, one geography, one sector, or world famous university? Actually, it boils down to the old adage, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. In other words, California's role as the birthplace of innovation has arisen in large part due to a remarkable innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem routed over generations and woven together with the spirit of discovery. Welcome Once again, the, the federal costs 
and OES recovered by commerce, federal security, um, sponsorship to countries, OES coordination website, local costs are um, the benefit. And it's actually in that uh, guidance, the, uh, the book that tells you what's federal and local. This insightful and remarkably productive tour will cover a wide swath of territory, encompassing some of the world's newest disruptors, working alongside best-in-class institutions from government, academia, and more. Eight ten kicks off in San Francisco and nearby Silicon Valley for a first-hand look at one of the most prosperous and successful innovation ecosystems in the world. With a focus on biotechnology and IT, San Francisco and Silicon Valley are home to many of the world's best-known tech companies, as well as groundbreaking public-private partnerships. Next stop is Monterey Bay, a true California gem. Ace 10 participants will experience cutting-edge marine research, advances in agricultural technology, and have the opportunity to visit the world-class Monterey Bay Aquarium. We'll also visit UC San Francisco yes, and East. Salinas Valley, this where is, Ace 10, this Ace 10 California is actually run by some of the cities. ...working on rapid commercialization of ag tech and workforce training. Next, Fresno is seen as the economic hub for the eight-county San Joaquin Valley region, an area known as the food basket of the world. Ag production in Fresno County comprises nearly 400 commodities exported to 93 countries. Fresno County is the top U.S. ag-producing county in the nation and one of the fastest-growing tech hubs in the country. We'll look north to Sacramento, California's capital city, where participants will visit the Golden One Center, home of NBA basketball Sacramento Kings, and the most technologically advanced and sustainable sports arena in the U.S. Sacramento is unleashing a thriving ecosystem for startups and growing businesses across all industries, supported by new public-private investments in facilities, services, equipment, and an online resource hub connecting communities across the region. We'll wrap up Sacramento with a visit to the historic State Capitol Building and hear about international trade, the California innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem, and more. Finishing strong. One of California's educational and innovation crown jewels, the University of California Davis, a leader in agriculture, veterinary, and so This is a local science. cost, by the way. The website is a federal cost. The, the video is a local cost. In science, technology, engineering, and, and it's outlined in the, uh, the manual. The Robert Mondavi Institute for Food and Wine Science tour the Jeff S. Jackson Sustainable Winery Building and enjoy interactive discussions with students, educators, researchers, and entrepreneurs. We expect a wholehearted welcome and invite you to join us this October for Ace 10, an adventurous tour of state-of-the-art technology, high-performing partnerships, and a catalytic abundance of opportunities. Ace 10, California, October 2018. So they're just some of the partners. UNCR, uh, University of California System, and Valley Vision are the two primary hosts. They're partnering with San Francisco Economic Development Corporation, the City of Monterey, uh, Fresno State, Hartnell College, they have about 20 other partners have all come together to create this glue to the economic impact. And right now, the applications are still open it's for it to participate. They're open until August 10. We already have five permanent secretaries of country already in the pipeline to come. And that the application just opened up a few days ago. So we use our contacts, we ring them up, uh, and then we engage in your local sites to move the economic needle. We have time for one or two last questions, and we thank you for participating today um, on this uh, webinar and look forward to further engagement. So if there's any other last questions, comments, um, we'll stay about one or two more minutes. Or are there comments from OES or ITA? Um, just thank you for your time, uh, and we're all available to you if you have additional questions, but uh, just to echo uh, Barrett's comments, this is a phenomenal program. There's a great deal of flexibility in the program to be able to tailor it to what uh, are your strengths, and uh, it's a great uh, mechanism through which to be able to reach out to the rest of the world and to demonstrate your leadership as being a gateway to the rest of the world uh, to support your local economies. Yeah, uh, I, I want to echo what uh, both uh, Sean and Barrett have said, and I invite you to actually go to YouTube and to actually watch those videos, and you, it will really give you, and, and also to, to go to the website 
of the ACE, it will really give you a sense of what this is about. And uh, it's to bring people together and to create connection and uh, so that we have more jobs for all of us, for, uh, for our children in the future. And uh, this is a fantastic initiative. And let me again um, thank the um, U.S. Department of Commerce uh, for hosting us here and for having this webinar and our colleagues also at the Department of State. Thomas had a question here. What program do you consider has been the best as a model? Each has things you can share. Each has different things, but we do recommend looking from ACE 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Uh, when we, we did the first bar raise of the program, and starting from ACE 11 forward, we're gonna raise the bar again. Uh, actually, California is raising the bar, as you can see, but um, every five ACE or so, we do a program evaluation, say, what's the next iteration? This is actually the first time we're making it open to the country, so we do recommend looking at five, six, seven, eight, and nine, as well as California's. The agenda of California won't be posted until after the event due to security reasons, security concerns, but um, just gives you an opportunity to look at the other ones that are already completed. So with that, if we'll have one time for one last question. And we'll be sending this PowerPoint to everybody. And we look forward to hearing from everybody to the letter of intent stage, to the process stage, because we want to bring these senior leaders from around the world to your community to really move the economic needle. Any last questions? Any thoughts? Like, this is the best thing we've ever seen. <laughs> right. Perfect. With that, we th oh, thank you. Thank you all. It's been a, we look forward to um, uh, seeing you guys with those letter of intent very soon. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan.